In this video, we're gonna be talking about the best hashtag strategy that you should be implementing right now on TikTok if you wanna start going viral more often. One of the number one questions that I get asked every single day is, Rob, should I use a ton of hashtags? Can I use hashtag FYP? How many hashtags should I use? Should I not be using hashtags at all? And so many other things around the realm of hashtags. I even get DMs all the time and say, hey Rob, I'm using the right hashtags, but I'm not going viral, so I wanna clear up everything. All the misinformation about hashtags because there is a lot of it out there, especially with these TikTok gurus out there that are just posting on TikTok because they don't know they're talking about. That's why they have less than 100,000 followers. Nevertheless, though, we're going to go through all of that. You're going to know the four viral TikTok hashtag strategies that you need to be implementing into your account by the end of this video. And please, make sure you stick around for the end of the video because I'm telling you, if you miss out on just implementing one of these hashtag strategies, because there are multiple of them that you should be using on different occasions, then that's going to be the reason that you're not going viral as much as you should and you're not gaining as many followers as you see other people gaining on TikTok. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Robert Benjamin and I'm the CEO helping you grow on TikTok, IG Reels, and YouTube. If you have any questions about anything throughout this entire video, please leave a comment below, ask your question. I'm gonna be answering all of the questions in the first 24 hours that this video is up. And please drop your username if you ask a question specific to your account. So many of you guys will ask a question totally specific to your account and not leave your username. So I can't, I just have no context. I can't give you a really good answer. And please, before I get into everything else, make sure you smash that sub button because you never wanna miss another one of these episodes. So to be most successful on TikTok right now, you need to understand several things about hashtags. First, they're used by the TikTok algorithm to actually determine and give a signal to TikTok on who should be seeing your content. If you want to reach a specific audience, hashtags are going to be part of the way that you're doing that. Secondly, ranking for a popular hashtag can literally change your life overnight. If you rank for hashtag cats and you sell cat food, that can change your life overnight because so many people look for that hashtag, so many people are going to see a piece of content and it can literally get you hundreds of thousands to millions of followers overnight. Third, using too many of them is not good at all. And fourth, using none of them at all, all the time is not good either. And then fifth, there's a huge misconception about how important hashtags actually are, so I'm gonna answer that towards the end of the video. Essentially, TikTok uses hashtags as a signal to determine who they should be pushing your content out to, and that is why there are so many different hashtag strategies that you need to implement, because I don't care if you're in a really specific niche or a really broad niche like dance, you need to be implementing certain things into your videos and your content and your hashtags so that you can actually reach the audience that you wanna reach and so that you can expand your audience into people that TikTok doesn't actually know are interested in what you have, but they still will be. And the good news is that you can use all of the strategies I'm about to talk about in order to manipulate this so you can get more views and more followers every single day. One of the biggest mistakes that I see creators do is they actually use way too many hashtags, like 10 hashtags on a post, which you should not do, and they don't use hashtags at all, so they totally miss out on the advantages of using hashtags. Now, there is actually a time and a place that you shouldn't use any hashtags at all, which I'll talk about in a little bit, but please do not do that consistently because that's not the right answer either. Choosing to ignore something is never the right answer. In addition to that, way too many creators are using hashtags that are essentially useless. You want to use hashtags that are actually popular. You do not want to use the 10th hashtag down when you type in hashtag cats, the one that only has 10,000 views on it in hopes that it'll blow up one day because odds are that's just not going to happen. For example, if you search for hashtag cats, the top four hashtags will probably look something like this. The first one is going to have 5 billion videos made to it. The second one, 2 billion. The third might be 200 million. The fourth might be 199 million. Now, you're going to want to use all of those because if you look at the fifth, it probably drops down to like 100,000 videos or something like that. Now, this isn't going to be the case with every single niche, but with some niches, this will be the case. So, the odds that you rank for a hashtag with 5 billion videos made to it, probably not that good. But you still want to implement that in your strategy. And what I would do in that situation, I would do just one of the huge hashtags, one of the smaller hashtags, one of the huge hashtags, one of the smaller hashtags. Again, when I'm referring to the smaller hashtags, I'm talking about the one with 100, 200 million videos. Instead, you should be implementing all of these hashtag strategies. The first one is using no hashtags at all. I know that might sound incredibly controversial, and I talk so much about that in the beginning of this video, but you need to do it sometimes. The reason being, one, I don't want you to be totally dependent on your hashtag strategy because it's not the biggest piece of the pie when it comes to getting on the For You page or going viral or getting a ton of views, although it can really help you out and really help you reach a different audience, it is not going to be the deciding factor whether or not your piece of content is good. More importantly, it's gonna be what the content's actually about and what time you post, but we'll chat about that in a little bit. Nevertheless, sometimes I want you to use no hashtags at all. This is gonna teach you to use hashtags in a better manner when you actually do use them, and it'll take some stress off you guys because I know so many of you guys are so stressed out about what hashtags to choose, but please do not do this every single post. I would rotate out the four hashtag strategies I'm about to talk about post after post. So if you're posting four times a day, you should be implementing one of these hashtag strategies into each video. In addition to that, you don't want to be signaling to TikTok that you're using the same hashtags over and over and over again because that does look like spam and TikTok is really big to pick up on that, which does bring up a point for me. Guys, you need to be changing your descriptions. You need to be changing the text that's on the screen. You cannot just do reposts. You cannot just create the same video over and over and over again. There needs to be different qualities to each video. So many of you guys are doing that and that is the reason that you're not getting on the For You page anymore because TikTok thinks 
thinks that you're actually just spamming them. The second hashtag strategy is gonna be using two trending hashtags and then two niche specific hashtags. Again, when you find the niche specific hashtags, you wanna make sure you're using hashtags that have a ton of views, a ton of videos made to them. Please don't waste your time with something that does not have a lot of movement on it, because trust me, you're not gonna rank number one for that and then it's gonna blow up overnight and this whole huge thing is, that's not how it's gonna work. Use the hashtags that have a ton of views, a ton of videos, so you're signaling to TikTok that that's the audience you're trying to reach. Also, use two trending hashtags from the Discover page. Try to use the ones that are as relevant as possible. The reason that you wanna do this is twofold. First, you're gonna be reaching your niche with the niche specific hashtags and the content you're creating. Those trending hashtags actually give you an opportunity to reach a more broad audience and people that were probably interested in whatever you're making videos about anyway, but they haven't signaled that yet to TikTok, so get them into that funnel, get them into that audience for TikTok, get them to follow you, and then they're gonna continue to see your content. This works well for several reasons. First, you're signaling to TikTok what niche you're in. Second, you're getting a chance to rank for your niche's hashtags. And then third, like I had said before, this is going to allow you to expand your audience so you can reach even more people. Way too many of you guys are really way too hyper-focused on your niche. You should be, that's not a bad thing, but you do wanna be expanding out of that, especially as you start to grow. I see so many creators get stuck between the 300,000 to 500,000 mark because they're not expanding their audience. In fact, this kind of happened to me. When I hit like 550,000 followers, I was posting a lot still, but I was not growing anywhere near as fast on my test account. The reason being, I was not expanding my audience enough, so I wasn't getting a ton of For You page views. That being said though, once I changed that, I gained like 150,000 followers in the past month. And again, this is just on my test account. I just use that account to test to be able to make content for this YouTube channel, but that is something I noticed. So if you're noticing that on your account, make sure you start to switch it up. A lot of creators struggle with this, but do not think so much about it. Literally just go under the hashtags, the different hashtags, be it trending or just a different niche and start posting that kind of stuff. I'm not saying that you have to totally change your niche, but you should be trying to expand your audience as much as possible. And don't start posting about something you have no interest in because it'll definitely show in your videos when you just don't have as much energy and you're just not gonna have as many good ideas with it. And since I get this question all the time, if you don't want kids to view your content, age up your content, but you need to realize that people under the age of 24 in general are the majority of people on TikTok. You need to be aging up your content, but I wouldn't expect to go viral as much as possible if you start to do this. The next hashtag strategy is gonna be using two trending hashtags, two broad hashtags. Trending, again, the same kind of hashtags. When it comes to broad hashtags, those are the broad things, like hashtag FYP, hashtag viral, hashtag trending. You see them on so many different videos. So many gurus out there are telling you guys not to use these hashtags, but I wanna break it to you. Every single viral video I've had, and I'm talking viral over a million views, has had these hashtags, and the majority of them that I see from the people in my mentorship program have these hashtags as well. I'm not saying that these hashtags correlate to things going viral, but I see it on so many videos. I'm talking tens of thousands of viral videos that I've been a part of working with somebody and creating or just creating on my own. They almost always have these hashtags, so please make sure you use at least one or two of these in this strategy. And like I said, there's a lot of misinformation about there about these hashtags. These hashtags do not hurt at all. They might not help you a ton because you're probably not gonna rank for them, but they do expand your audience, especially when you have something go viral. That could be a huge signal to TikTok that this is a piece of content for a broad audience. So please make sure that you're implementing this strategy as well. And again, I'm not basing this off of one viral video that I've seen or one viral video that I've had. I'm talking about tens of thousands of viral videos. Again, that means over a million views. The final hashtag strategy that I recommend is two niche specific hashtags and then two broad hashtags. As you guys could see, there are four different scenarios, four different hashtag strategies that you need to be implementing. You need to be rinsing these in and out, in and out, in and out. Hopefully you're producing a lot of content too so that you get more test runs. But again, once you see something work, I would do it more often than not. So maybe if you see one of the hashtag strategies work, you start to implement that more often. But the two things that way too many people do is one, they put way too much weight on hashtags or they don't use hashtags at all. I'm strongly recommending that you implement all four of those strategies because that's gonna give you the best chance to get the most views, go viral the most, and get the most amount of followers while expanding your audience so that you never get stuck in a situation where you can't continue to grow because you've already reached capacity on the audience that TikTok thinks they have for your content. And again, I wanna give you an example. If you were to look up the following four hashtags, hashtag cats might have 500 billion views, hashtag cat food might have 400 billion views. Again, all hypothetical. Cat nips might have 200 million views, cat milk might have 199 million views. What I would do, I would take one of those big hashtags, one of the small hashtags, one of the big hashtags, one of the small hashtags, and make sure you mix them together and those will be your two niche specific hashtags. The reason that you're gonna do this is because the big ones will expand your audience. The small ones will give you a chance to rank, although unless the video goes viral, it probably won't happen. And then another, for example, if the fifth hashtag there was hashtag cat 
treats or something like that and it only have 500,000 views, I would just totally ignore it because odds are that hashtag is not going to blow up. There's not going to be a ton of people that reach into it. And I get this question all the time. Should you create your own hashtag? Personally, I think it's a waste of time. If you want to add it in to your description and it's small, it doesn't look like spam, by all means, throw it in there. But if somebody wants to find you, they're just going to search for your account. This isn't like how Instagram was back in the day when that was a really good idea to make your own hashtag and have your own branding. Uh, things just don't work like that on TikTok. And I want to end this video by saying do not get too mixed up in the hashtags that you're using. Again, watch time, the content that you're creating, the times that you're posting are actually way more important. I'm going to talk about all of that in my next YouTube video and I've talked about it in the past. So please, if you have any questions about anything, leave a comment below. If you guys want my help on what I would do, my recommendations, personal recommendations on what I would do specifically for your TikTok account, you need to get into my mentorship program. I guarantee that I can help you grow on TikTok in 30 days or less. If you want to learn more about that, go to the link in the description. If not, just continue watching these videos over here and these videos over here. Thank you so much for watching.